Hey everybody, welcome to day two. Today is crazy hair don't care day, so deal with it. Um, I'm gonna show you a couple of things about screen sharing and Zoom that some teachers have experienced and I'd like for you to just kind of take a look and see if some of these are applying to you as well. The first thing here is uh, teachers who say that they're sharing their screen, but all the students see is their uh, desktop wallpaper. So they see just this. They don't see their windows, they don't see their tabs, they don't see the application, all they see is this. Um, it's possible that you need to enable that um, screen recording session in your system preferences. So to get to system preferences, you can either go to the gear at the bottom left hand corner here, or at the very top, you can go to the Apple logo and then system preferences. Okay, once you're in system preferences, we're going to go to the security and privacy setting here. And after tapping on that, um, we're going to stay in the Privacy tab. And in the left-hand menu, we're going to scroll down to Screen Recording. And then here are the different apps that you've allowed for screen recording. And it's possible that the Zoom app is unchecked. right? So we want to make sure that the Zoom app is checked. And if you already have Zoom running, you'll have to quit Zoom and relaunch it. And that should be it. Now, um, it's possible that Zoom might request other things as well. You can kind of scroll through here. I think the other one is in full disk access. Yeah. Zoom might be in there too. Yeah. So here you see that Zoom is not checked in my full disk access, which I think I need as well. So I'm going to uncheck, sorry, I'm going to unlock this preference pane by typing in my password for my computer. And then I'm going to go to uh, the Zoom US and check the box. Okay. So full disk access and, and screen, report, screen recording will uh, resolve a couple of those issues. All right, so the second thing here is some teachers have mentioned that uh, all students are seeing is their tabs and not whatever application they're in. So it's possible that you have two windows up, that you have maybe Chrome in one and you have some other application in another, and students are seeing the one, but they're not seeing the other. So that is specific to which screens you're sharing in your screen share. So if I open up Zoom here, and I'm going to just create a new meeting, I guess. Hopefully you can see all of this and doesn't kick you out. Okay. And if I do a screen share, you see that I have the ability to share my entire desktop, or I can share various um, devices that are plugged into my computer. Okay. You'll see that if I open up a different window, like uh, Chrome here, and I'll just pull out this tab. Okay, so I have two tabs. I have this tab, and I have this tab. Okay, and I go back to my Zoom, and I do share screen, you'll see I now have access to those two tabs as well. So either I can show my entire desktop, which will show my icons on my desktop, it'll show both these windows, it'll show everything I'm doing on my desktop, or I can pick one thing or the other. If I select just this version of Chrome here, then kids will see this window and that's it which means they won't see anything else that I open up or any other windows that I have open. They wouldn't see this, right? They wouldn't see other applications. They'd only see this. So that's a, both a pro and a con, right? If you want them to see multiple windows, make sure you're doing your entire desktop. However, if you have multiple windows open and you don't want your kids to see those, then only choose the windows that you want them to see but just know that that's the only window that they'll be able to see, okay? So I'll, I, I can select this, for example, and where some teachers have also run into issues is, let's say they've chosen their entire desktop, or maybe they've chosen, sorry, maybe they've chosen um, one of these windows here, right? And they share the screen. It's best that if you're sharing a particular window, mm -hmm. that you don't make that window full screen by hitting the green button here because what this does is actually puts this window into a new desktop. So we don't want to make 
we don't want to make things full screen. We don't want to maximize. So don't hit that green button. The green button messes things up sometimes when you're doing a screen sharing. Okay, and as I mentioned yesterday as well, if you're sharing your screen and you'd like for the audio on your computer, whether it's a video or sound effect or something, on your computer to also play through the Zoom meeting, make sure you're sharing the computer's sound as well. By default, this is turned off because that way if your computer is sending notifications and making those dinging sounds and so forth, um, the kids won't hear those. So that's why it's turned off by default. However, if you're sharing your screen and you want them to hear different things that's happening on your computer, make sure you check that on. And lastly, if you're playing a video for your kids uh, through screen share, it's best to check this optimized screen share for video clip. That way uh, there'll be less lag and less choppiness um, and the sound will match the video when you're playing that video through the screen share. All right, hope these tips helped. If you have any questions, feel free to email me. And as always, thanks for watching.